actually leaving. It's, it is 6.30 Michigan time Eastern, and it's uh, 5.30 Central time uh, at our house. Uh, we're pulling out. It's a Sunday morning. We're pulling away from the hoot nanny. Um, as you can hear, our kids may not be in the best mood, but... They're a little cranky. We got in bed after midnight and was up at 5 and 6 this morning. <laughs> so we're going to drive. We, we decided, like we said in a, a prior vlog, I think yesterday or day before's vlog, uh, we are going to uh, go to the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. Uh, us being Christians and, and just being in this area, we would love to see both of those things. So our goal is to stop at both of those before we go to our family's house in Arkansas. Um, we really have today and tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to be kind of booking it, kind of stressed with some driving. So um, we're hoping for safe travels most of all, but um, we're kind of excited to be able to go to these places and uh, kind of see... Um, see the start of the world and of course our Christian's perspective so we're excited about that but um we're hoping for a safe trip and uh, like I said it's, it's it's bittersweet leaving uh, we've made some great friendships got to meet people that we do watch on uh, YouTube ourselves so it's uh, kind of pandemonium sometimes but uh, it was good to, to meet some of those guys and I hate to start naming them because I'll forget somebody but uh it was just a great experience. Great. Um, it's always good to get with people who are like-minded uh, in so many different ways. So uh, we had a blast. I can't thank the Pratts enough for um, for allowing us to come and, and, and again to inviting us. And again, I can't, can't thank um, Alderman Farms enough for introducing us to them and, and us being able to make our way up here. So, so we had a blast. Uh, again, just always bittersweet because we're leaving. And, and uh, I guess one of those things, you may not see each other again until HOA or... or depending on where everybody's going. So we had a blast though, don't you think? We did, yeah. we did. It was a really nice time just getting able, just being able to meet other people like Colby said. And you start building those friendships and being able to exchange information. Uh, you teach people, people teach you and what works for their area, what works for your area. So it was just, a, just you know, a neat concept to be able to have a gathering place to be able to do that. So. Um, it was really nice, um, some really awesome people out there, um, so all the people that we got to meet and share with and conversate with, it was just a really nice time all together. Well, as you can hear, our kids are a little moody, so we're going to go and get off here. We'll show you what we do for the rest of the day. Um, once we get to those places, a little traveling, we're going to two new states that we did not go to when we were heading up here. So uh, in one trip we're gonna hit like I think I said seven or eight states. So it's kind of exciting. So um, join us as we go. Museum. Absolutely gorgeous. Botanical gardens all the way throughout. Beautiful lighting. We're actually walking to the museum exhibit. This is just kind of the walkway to it. So it's absolutely beautiful though. I'll tell you, it's misty. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's kind of warm. We're not in Michigan anymore.
getting on this, on this right now, you can definitely tell we're getting closer and closer to the south as it starts to heat up. <laughs> the weather's a little bit different, starting to get a little bit different since we've been in Michigan. But we are at the Ark, walking up to get on the trolley for it to drive us down. Um, and apparently the space is so big, you can't see it from right here. So that's what we're fixing to do is board up and um, get on the trolley. Second part of the day. Yes. The we did, we left the Creation Museum and we drove 45 minutes um, over here. It was a very, very cool setup and process. So we're super excited about that. Um, so we're gonna make our way down and um, go from there. Girls, what do y'all think? Not bad so far. Matt, are you excited to go on here? I'm, I'm scared. You're scared? What are you scared of? At the movie, I'm so scared. Oh, at the Creation Museum, you were scared of the 3D movie? What about the boat? Are you excited to go on the boat? In Ark? Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Ellie? I'm always going. What about you, Aiden? Are you ready for this experience? Music. 
Yeah, we're watching some. We've been watching some people on TV as we drive. Colby's just, it, nothing's working right now, so I started laughing at him all ago and told him I was going to turn the phone on. Just panting and done. So tired of driving. What time do we get up this morning? I have no idea. I think it's five. <laughs> we got up at five. And it's almost midnight. <laughs> so sick of driving. We're not spring chickens anymore. We can't stay up late anymore. <laughs> what number are you on? Right here, Jonah. I think my fourth today. I don't like them either. We still lack, we still lack like 50 minutes from being in our destination. We've been Googling Walmarts, but they're all out of the direct, they're all out of the way. Um, we're truly in the middle of nowhere on this highway. So yeah, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere right now. And uh, I'm okay, and I keep telling Colby I'll drive. He can't hardly keep his eyes open over there. So, I don't know. Um, I found several that were off the beaten path. Uh, we couldn't get anybody to answer on the phones. We were, honestly, we just weren't really sure what to do. Um, and by the time I was trying to look into their website and make reservations, Colby was like, oh, I'm just going to keep on going. You're wasting my time. So, um, we're still on the road. And hopefully, we'll get there sooner than later.
either tonight sometime or wee hours in the morning and milk and, and go back to my, my normal job tomorrow. So. Yes, yeah, so our farm center is done. Um, she milked out for the last time this morning, so we definitely have to get back home. But we, we've had a good trip going this way through Kentucky. It's been nice. Kentucky has been beautiful, a beautiful little area. Um, we really enjoyed it, but yeah, last night was pretty funny. Um, we were beeping the horn and we got tickled. We would start laughing at each other and then our eyes would start trying to cross again. So, um, we did have a really long night last night. Thankfully, we made it. We found the little RV spot that was right off of the, right off the interstate. It couldn't have been more perfect um, with food and places to fill up. With you. I've been happy to see pine trees and heavy greenery. That, that reminds me of Mississippi. Uh, we've been seeing cornfields and soybeans one way and cities the other way. So I'm glad that we're kind of back close to home and close to our region. And don't get me wrong, we love Michigan, love the areas we went through. We went through nine states, I think, total. And I'm uh, kind of looking forward to being home tonight. We just made it home. Um, it is about 9.30ish on uh, Monday night. Um, just checked all the animals. The animals were doing great. Our farm should have did wonderful. Uh, our dog was just crying. She was so excited to see you. She was just whining. So uh, good to be home with Hattie Mae. I went and checked all the cows. Cows look great. Uh, Elsa just let me just pet her. She just she laid there. Laid on the ground let me pet her. So everything's doing good. We've got everything unloaded out of the, the camper. Uh, we have had some days of driving, so I'm glad that we are physically back. I'm ready just to milk. Come on, girl. All right. Come on. The dog. Good girl. All right. She wants to stay inside the garage, but we, we tend to not like that since the milk pump and all that's in here. So. Anyways, everything's going good. We're trying to get all cleaned up. You can see. I've got laundry coming out of my ears. When you have seven people in an RV. Hey, close that door, baby. It's crazy. So there's the laundry pile. And crazy man running around. One, two, three, four. Have four garbage bags. Who has to where they were ripping. <laughs> Coolers are getting out of the Look at our kitchen cabinet. That's after putting about half of it up. So, so we're going to get finished up. <laughs> Was a great 2019 Hoot Nanny event. Uh, thanks to, to Mike and Jenny, had a blast. Uh, great to meet a lot of new people and, and see a lot of good friends. And again, uh, from, from us to y'all, happy homesteading, y'all.